Okay guys, today we're looking at some greenhouses. I said in a video to, not long ago, I was thinking about turning my garden into a greenhouse. And I got lots of reasons why I shouldn't do it. Some legit, some not so much. Temperature is one, that's a legit one for sure. Humidity is another legit one. But uh, some of the other ones, just because people don't know what they're talking about, simple as that. This guy's got all kinds of greenhouses. Some of them are uh, in production and some are not. These are very, very popular around here now. But everybody seems to grow only cantaloupe. I don't know what, what that is. Let's take a look at how it's built. Plastic roof. It's got the, the wiggle wire or the wiggle wire and the, the channel for it. But this is mesh. Wind can blow through. Bugs cannot get in. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look. Sliding door. Yeah. That could be a problem. We're running uh, drip irrigation. Crappy, crappy soil. Wow. Just horrible stuff. And look down there. Seems to be uh, very wet in here. You see all the fruit hanging. Plants don't look that good, I have to admit. But this is what I'm talking about. It, it doesn't have to be anything special. You know, plastic roof, net sides. And the shape of my garden, I can't uh, use one of these. I'd have to do a custom build. But how hard is that the custom build, right? Not hard at all. You just need to get the plastic, the wiggle wire, and the net. It's very fine, like way finer than, than Windows screen. That's for sure. Let's go look at this one. Another one over here. There's, there's at least 10 of them here. You see they got the sign up there. They sell cantaloupes. There we go, this one's got nice looking, uh, nice looking fruit hanging. And it's a little different, they got, uh, got them in pots in here, in grow bags. And this one's not as hot as the other one either. That's not a bad looking fruit, I guess. The plants are a little droopy. That must be a yellow, a yellow melon, huh? This is cantaloupe and some kind of yellow melon, I'm not sure. But there's a lot of them. All down through here. Nice looking fruit actually. The plants don't look like much. But uh, the fruit look good. It's all run on drip irrigation. It's hot in here. But you'd expect that. But again, this one's built just like the other one. Very simple, very basic. The difference between this and uh, a hoop house is it's got straight sides. But I think if you want to grow in Thailand with the crazy weather, it's either too much wind, too much rain, too hot. The humidity is a factor. I have a lot of problems with birds and bugs. Especially birds. I think this would help a lot. Very, very basic design. And you wouldn't have to be a, oh, I was going to say, you don't have to be a smart bug, but that's almost sealed. There are the channels. Not bad, I'd say. That's over here. <laughs> Every time I turn around, I see more of them. They're everywhere. Oh, this is nice under this tree. It's insanely hot again today. Eight, nine. There's at least ten. And a big dog. Hello, buddy. <laughs> what are you building?
an inventor at work. Yeah, there's ten, ten greenhouses. Okay, buddy, okay. These two here close to the road, they've been here for a long time. And they're built a little heavier, I think. This is round pipe or the other ones are square. But nice and simple, I don't know the size of them. They're long. But that's a Thai greenhouse. And that's what I want. Something like this, very simple. Easy. All right, guys, well, that's it. That's how they grow melons here. I don't know why they don't grow anything else. <laughs> I guess the melons are pretty much uh, maintenance-free, and that's good. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching.